In this part of the lesson, we'll take a brief look at how to change the default button on a message box. Let's start by opening the file that I've downloaded and extracted, and then we can click the Enable Content button to allow any existing code to run. The worksheet contains a button which I can click on to trigger a subroutine whose first task is to display a message box asking a question. Shall we play a game? Now, anyone who's a bit of a fan of 1980s Cold War type movies will know the extreme importance of not clicking yes if you're asked this question by a computer. I don't know if you can make out from the, the zoomed in view here, but the yes button is currently the default button for this message box. There's a slightly different border around the yes button compared to the no and cancel buttons. The default button is the one that would be clicked if you were to press the enter key or the spacebar key on your keyboard. So if I were to do that, if I just press enter rather than clicking on the button, I'll see, oh no, global thermonuclear war. Oh well, um, let's try again. If I go back and then click OK on the first, on this message, and then run the game again. If I click no, I'm just continually asked the same question. The only way I can win is by not playing. If I click cancel, then I'm told exactly that. The only winning move is not to play. Ideally, what I'd like to do is set the cancel button to be the default button of this message box, so that if I were to accidentally press enter or space, it's the cancel button that would be clicked. Let's open the VB editor and take a look at the code which makes this system work. You'll be familiar with most of this from previous parts of this lesson. So we have a variable which can capture the result of a message box. We then display a message box with different buttons and a question symbol and store the result in the button clicked variable. There's then simply an if statement which checks which button was clicked and takes a different course of action depending on which one it was. The one part you may not be familiar with is the go to statement. Go to allows you to change which instruction is being executed when your code is running. So we've said go to try again, which corresponds to a simple label written in my code. So you can enter a label in your code by typing in a name with no spaces, followed by a colon character. So whenever we click the no button, the code simply changes its execution to this line, which causes it to display the message box again. The important thing that we're trying to do is change which button is the default of the three that we display on the message box. So we're displaying yes, no, and cancel buttons. The first button is always the default one. So in this case, the yes button is the default one. To change the default button to the third one, I can add an extra piece of information to the button's parameter. So if I typed in a space followed by a plus, I can then look for one of the default options. So I've got default button one, two, three, or four. In this case, cancel is the third button, so I'll set the default to be button three. If I now try going back to Excel and running the game again by clicking the play button, you may be able to make out that the cancel button now is the one that's got the slightly different border, slightly thicker border around it, indicating that it is indeed the default one. Which means that if I were to press enter or space, then it's clicking the cancel button, unfortunately avoiding a global thermonuclear war. Phew, 